a warning to Bitriba. Maybe if he will try next time, we are going to apply manually on him. She was uh, able to pregnant a lot of the ladies, mm. small lady in the village. Yeah. Even my sister was part of, of that. Jesus. Exactly. My sister was part of it. Okay. And uh, Gitriba was trying to to apply Man manual, manual abortion, abortion where yeah. she go and uh, buy some tablets and give to my sister. Uh -huh. When my sister she went to school, uh -huh. We had a call. Uh -huh. I was the one who I I, I had a call uh -huh. from the teacher. It's expand your mind because yeah. <laughs> it's because no. your mind is like it's very limited, <laughs> super limited. Yeah, super so limited. Travel. Do you remember during Rocio coming to the villa? The, 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 that's who moment? was sleeping at the villa? Paris. And who? Mean how? No. Yeah. Paris. Uh -huh. Another one. Gitriba was there. Uh -huh. Was a soldier and who else? Uh, Maro was there. Fantastic. So after uh, after the party, uh -huh. then Rocio was about to come. Exactly. Did you see her there? Paris. Uh -huh. Actually, she she went out because uh, I thought she was pregnant. But that time, or she aborted, my friend. She aborted. A sister of Ernesto. Yeah. Was uh, was taken. You you know the sister of uh, Robigan also. Exactly. Hello, baby. Hello, Hello baby. baby. Yeah. We are coming to the same same point. Hello, baby, give but give give, give what? Pregnant Pregnant to the sister uh, too. That, that girl was and a form all, four. Yeah, was and, a and, a and the, the, the and sister. You know the scholar. that the yeah. sister of the Robi girl also she was a form four like the sister to Anessa and, and they, they and, never and, back and, and hello. Get Riba impregnating a minor and then just giving this minor some drugs by the roadside to get rid of the pregnancy with no medical supervision whatsoever. None. Can you imagine the danger that Gitriba is putting to these young girls in the villa, in Yabuanze? No medical attention whatsoever. And in the first place, impregnating a minor. And he's not the only one because we have the likes of, uh, we have the likes of uh, Mayugno. Impregnating a girl, drops off school, and uh, he comes out here. Lying to the subscribers, guys, my wife left without sharing the entire story because, of course, they never do. You come out here, share a story that will make the other person look bad while you're the devil because uh, these things, this thing is just so rampant. I came out here and we were talking about Anastasia, I didn't know, and I'm so sure you also didn't know because, of course, you, we would have uh, talked about it in the comment section. Can you imagine? They are not the only ones, and it's not like they're impregnating one kid or something, no. It's a mess, a mess. The likes of Hello Baby, someone else, another child, another minor, dropped off school with a baby now. Of course, if you're not from Kenya, you're watching and you're like, school, school, yeah. In Kenya, you drop off school. That is it, for, that is it. That, especially for these girls, because of course, uh, Mogesi and Gintu have shared a lot of details. You can tell that uh, they come from humble backgrounds. That is it for you. You're not even an adult, but your life is determined, is defined by that. Because a lot of them have dropped off school. And of course, as I was saying, if you're not from Kenya, education is, without education, no hope. Because it's not like uh, when you get the certificate, it's a guarantee to good life or uh, getting off your situation. No. But you get hope. Which is so different, guys. It's so different. Just living like that, you dropped, you didn't go to school. It's so different. Just walking around with the hope is so big, and it's so important for for anyone. So, so that is the importance of uh, that is the importance of education, hope. But of course, you can be lucky. You get employed, which in most cases you get employed, and uh, that is how you can change. Your background, you know, you can change your situation in the village. But to watch these people, just a few people, it's not like uh, this is happening in uh, Nyabuanze, no. Just a few people, just a few villa boys cutting off the life, the future of these minors is so sad because it gets worse. This happens, of course, in Kenya, that is illegal. That is. <laughs> That's a crime because these people are minors and uh, they don't give consent to anything. So, of course, you know what that means. A-S-M-O 
so many things that you can imagine here. Yeah. Because that's a minor. And these are grown as men. These are 30 plus years men doing this. So of course you'd imagine that uh, they report it. Yeah, they did. Mogesi shared. But corruption. Bribing the police, bribing the chief. And that is it. That is it. But of course there are so many ways that um, Mogesi and the likes can get justice and uh, of course put these nasty behavior to an end because of course if they get left like that they know that uh, with my donations money i can get away with so much so guys mayugno is one of them he came out here my wife left but no he was impregnating minors in the village left right and center of course the wife had to leave but he came out here and lied to the subscribers we also have hello baby another child of school and so many and so many cases that have been exposed out here so let's talk about it and of course we'll share our suggestions in the in the comment section and we get to know what can be done of course because this is so sad <laughs> if you come from kenya you've been from such backgrounds you know the impact of this villa boys behavior on this girl's life you will know exactly so guys Let's talk about it. I hope you're ready because we need to talk about this. Let's start. So welcome back and welcome if this is your first time joining us. Thank you so much. We really welcome you. We appreciate your time for just coming back and uh, spending your time with us. Of course, if you... If you like this, you know, because we come out here and give our reactions to so many things that uh, happen, that happen out there. If you vibe with this kind of content, kindly subscribe to the channel. And uh, of course, any other person that you are part of this thing, but you've not subscribed, kindly consider subscribing. Of course, all of us watching, kindly drop that like. Just like the video. It's around, it's around here. Just drop a like and um. You can turn the notification bell on because uh, nowadays we premiere our videos. I'd like for you to always join whenever you can the premiere so that uh, we can interact because it's so different. You drop your comment and uh, we interact there and then. So kindly turn the notification bell on if you can. Uh, and uh, most importantly, share your thoughts in the comment section because we are always there. We, we, you never share your comment and we don't respond to it. We always do. So kindly do so if you can. So let's get to the video because today's video is a continuation of uh, the other days. <laughs> is it yesterday's video? Because uh, whatever is going down there at the villa is just too much. Can we start with this case of um, Gitriba and uh, Mogesi's sister? Would you believe that uh, Gitriba is out here impregnating minors? And uh, that is even worse. And it gets worse. He goes ahead and uh, gives them pills. I don't know where he gets these pills. And terminates. With no medical supervision, recommendation, nothing. Nothing. Can you imagine? I don't know. I don't know. But uh, I can just imagine for the parents how they feel. Because these are, these are minors going to school. And in Kenya it's so different. Of course, if you're in a primary level of education, at least, almost free. But if they're in the secondary level of education, it's so expensive. These parents have sold their, their kettles, their so, even piece of land, so that they can take you to school. But you're almost done because I was seeing a story of another victim. He was almost done. He was, the girl was uh, in their final year. And um, that is what happened. Can you imagine? And of course, as I said, in Kenya it's so different because uh, without education, that is it for you, that is it. Because uh, and the options, you know, the options of uh, doing the casual jobs, maybe for instance, like the US, you can decide to be a waiter, tomorrow you get the waitress jobs, you can decide to be this and that in Kenya. Yes, you can, but not that easily because, uh, of course, the restaurants are not as much as it is in the, for instance, the US. It's different, let me say so, because... Uh, this is a developing country, so you don't have that much options. Unless you go to school, try your luck. Maybe you'll be employed, you know. Even if you'll not be employed, at least you'll live with hope 
that maybe I might get that employment so that you come back and change your situation at the village. But now Mogesi, Gitriba, Mura, because we'll get to that because Mura is another one. Allegedly. At the same time, we have Elo Baby, just the entire Villa Boys. Let me say it so. If not all, <laughs> most of them, if not all. So just imagine these young girls. These are minors, you know. These are minors. It's even getting worse because I remember initially we came out here, talked about Anastasia. We were talking about, uh, you know, child labor. Then we came out here and talked about these boys, these men, adults, taking advantage of them. But now I didn't know that it's these rampants, like dropping school, abortions, life, left, right, and center. It's crazy. So coming back to Mogesi's sister case, of course, Mogesi was given a, a call by the school to come and pick their sister, which I don't understand because most of the times when you're in your secondary level of education, in the fee structure, there is always an item to do with the medication. Of course, I don't know if it applies to all schools, but at least back then, <laughs> when I was studying, you know, because of course these things changes. Every three years it changes, so I don't know, but I'd expect the school to take care of the sister. But I'm not so sure. Maybe they took the sister to, to the hospital, but noticed that um, it's getting worse or something, or it's something serious. So Mugetsu picked the sister, and they got to know the story, you know, that uh, Gitiriba was responsible. This is an abortion that is taking place. The pills were given by um, Gitiriba, and this sister was fighting for her life. What? And maybe from this point, we're going to say uh, a warning to Gitiriba. Maybe if he will try next time, we are going to apply manually on him. Yeah, you know, because you know, it has become now too much. Even if I'm just going to deliver this message out. Yeah. Because it is too much. Because we are going to ashamed him. Is ashamed. it a shame? Yeah, shame. We are going to ashamed him. Yeah. Because uh, it has to change. Yeah, this back like one month, mm -hmm. where she was uh, able to pregnant a lot of the ladies, mm -hmm. small lady in the village. Yeah, even my sister was part of of that. Jesus, exactly. Your sister was part of uh, being pregnant. Exactly. Yeah. Is she pregnant? Even we let let me. I'm just yeah. going to narrate this. Exactly. And uh, this is the first time to be to narrate because it has become too much of those team maro guys because they are just using the advantage of misleading other people so it reached the time where Gitriba was also my sister was part of it yeah. and uh, Gitriba was trying to to apply to apply manual manual a application manual what he about me abortion Ma manual, manual abortion, abortion where yeah. she go and uh, buy some tablets and give to my sister uh -huh. when my sister she went to school uh -huh. We had a call. Uh -huh. I was the one who I I, I had a call uh -huh. from the teacher. Uh -huh. So the teacher I was, was I was with you. Yeah, we were with my aunt that day. The, the, the so the teacher was your sister is sick. Just come for her and uh, take her to the hospital and uh, see what is going the on problem. and uh, give us the result. Okay. So after that, I went to the school the for school. my sister and I pick her. My mom was able to take her to the hospital uh -huh. and uh, she caught that my sister was pregnant and uh, she was already applied the Try, manual trying to abort yeah with manual, a manual application exactly and the baby died so she, so after that i take that incident to the police, police. Uh -huh. and uh, the police <coughs> no the police were just to make the case uh -huh. so the police call him that is the time he was having a burial. Uh -huh. So Gitriba just give, is it Kupatua ni Kupatia Hongo? Oh, Luat. Yeah, Gitriba bribed the police. Uh -huh. And the police were just to, you have seen your sister has already, the, the baby has already passed away. Uh -huh. So we cannot make this case. Because Gitriba has already bribed the, the, the police. police. And uh, actually, yesterday, where I, the chief, the chief you know the chief is the head of the police yeah he come to my home uh -huh. and he asked me where is your sister uh -huh. i asked my sister what has what has she done uh -huh. uh, i remember the time that you come to report to the police 
there is no any incident was taken yeah. and i was somehow i was somehow agree with the the police they never take how any. they took it slightly exactly. without any miscellaneous exactly. like a miscellaneous challenge exactly uh -huh. and uh, now i'm just going to work on it because she was a a, a, a student so and uh, when it reached to that point where that guy was just ma making such kind of the nonsense and uh, she, she bribed the the police with me i'm just going to work on such 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 activity terribly yeah. so the chief went went to the git river and uh, i think git river also bribed them bribed the the, the chief, chief because okay. it has passed like uh, one one week yeah i have never seen the the chief mm -hmm. coming to me again mm -hmm. because and uh, that's where i have come i have got the information where git river was just trying to to bribe the police so that they can put the case back yeah, it back. so that uh, Mogesu was trying to abort his sister. Uh -huh. And uh, from this point, it's going to be strong warning to Team Maro for those incidents that do happen, that you do apply to the, to the village people, taking advantage of that you have money. Fantastic. And, Fantastic. Uh, you know so it's now the point that now it's coming, guys. And you can just check what is just happening onto this platform now. Exactly. And uh, these guys think that, okay, you have a motorbike, you have money, maybe yeah. you have donations that are coming in, you have money to, uh, uh, you are sent money maybe to do what? Uh, to buy a plot, you are receiving money from YouTube. Yeah. Uh, okay, now you want to lure the young. This Gitriba, these people that come out here and act so innocent. Oh, guys, this is my villa. This is something that I wanted to even ask before I even forget because uh, it's even getting so so sad coming out here nowadays because it's nothing good. It's terrible. What is going down there? So before I forget, this is something that I wanted to ask. Do you think Mura Senso is not aware of these things going on? Do you think Mura Senso is not aware that... Uh, the villa during the 30 day party was a dungeon hmm? <laughs> was a a cave of all the activities the worst activities at this point i think it's one of these dd parties what is this because most of these things allegedly took place during the 30 day party do you want to tell me that he's not aware because this is something else that uh mogesi and gintu shared about mura senso let's watch we come back. Do you remember during Rocio coming to the villa? The, 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 that's who moment? was sleeping at the villa? Paris. And who? Minhawi. No. Yeah. Paris. Uh -huh. Another one? Gitriba was there. Uh -huh. Was a soldier. And who else? Uh, Maro was there. Fantastic. So after, after the party, uh -huh. then Rocio was about to come. Exactly. Did you see her there? Paris. Uh -huh. Actually, she she went out because uh, I thought she was pregnant by that time. Or she aborted, my friend. She abo she she performed abortion. Exactly in Mombasa. Uh -huh. She was in Mombasa. Mm -hmm. She already removed it already. And if you don't know it, know it from today. And, and what it's one on that? one life. And what make that? Uh, due to unconditional circumstances, it could bring some miscellaneous cons. Uh, in, Miscellaneous mis appearance here, you know, and <laughs> the kingdom. Uh, and yeah, you know, now they're gonna be talking about okay, this is this is this, is, you know, even um, Mara never wanted to show that uh, Rocio, uh, never wanted to show Rocio that okay, these things are performed this way. Exactly. There's a day I carried them from uh, the villa, yeah, they were going to the saloon in Migori. Uh -huh. I just transported them, you know, yeah, and eh, you know, Paris, another victim. But at least Paris is over 18 years, you know. That one is not a minor, but it's still messed up. It's still fucked up. Because abortion, you're doing an abortion. You're doing an abortion because Mura Senso told you to do. You're crazy. Who is the one benefiting at that point, you know? I hope it was your decision, which is even worse. I don't support. It's crazy, you know. But in this case, the way they gave the story, Mura told... Paris to get rid of it so that uh, Rocio, hmm, the queen parasite, can come over. Because of course, you know, with Mura, the skin is so superior, you know. Paris, Paris Mumu, you're black. You cannot have my kid. Get rid of it, allegedly. 
so that uh, Rocio can come over and give me the 10 kids. What is this going on? And of course, don't forget that uh, I'll not even give the receipts, but it's on my channel. Maybe you want to go and check it out because I remember Joyce's diaries came out and gave us a story. You know, she spotted two minors, two very young girls coming down, coming out of Mura's room before Rocio came over. You want to tell me he was not aware of what was going on, of these young girls, their lives just getting ruined. Just like that. These girls are out here fighting for their lives. They escape by a whisker because that is so dangerous for people to come out here and, uh, and criminalize it. Of course, research was done, you know. Research was extensively done. And they determined that uh, it's not safe for your health, but these villa boys are out there. On the roadside, you, uh, you, you also pregnant? Your pill is this? You, yes, your pill is that. Go and deal with it by yourselves. How crazy can that be? So, back to my question. Do you think he didn't know? Hmm? Because these people always come out here and pretend to be so holy. I saw Rocio's uh, on one of these videos. I think it was yesterday or the day before yesterday. She was out here. Oh, those of you who came out here and said that uh, and said that uh, the mate is it? Is that the name of that drink that uh, Senso was given? This is what Rocio was saying. Oh, those of you who came out here and criticized that uh, it's ritual or something, you have this kind of brain, Rocio. You don't have a brain. The audacity of you to come out here and tell people, oh, this is the size of your brain travel. At least we, we can travel. We pay for it. What about you? <laughs> this one always comes out here and gives us the temptation. At least gives me the temptation to come out here, to come for her. Because you're coming out here to tell people at some point she was like, she was giving an example to do with the cars. And she was like, or even you, maybe you don't have a car. Look at these poor street Argentinian out here. Look at this one who was picked from the streets coming out here to act. <laughs> or maybe you don't even have a car. Or say, do you have one? <laughs> do you even have a place to live? If it's not for, for a black man, for someone else to come out here and solve your situation, your living situation. Look at this one. <laughs> and those people who come out here, especially those of you, hmm? With my color, you come out here and enable this woman to come out here and insult our people. You're crazy. Because that is not the only issue. After this one, I'm dropping another one. Because he did too much with one of the persons that came out there. Assisted her in one of two things. But the way she treated her, the way he treated that man at the villa, it's something that I'm still trying to comprehend. Because I can't believe. I honestly can't. What? Let me leave Rocio for now because that one with no brain, because don't come for me because for someone to come out here and claim that, uh, hey, you guys, who gave your two cents on it, travel, yes? Even if we don't travel, <laughs> what about you? You were not traveling until someone came out here to take you out, <laughs> out of the hostel. She came out and she was like, your brains are like this, Rocio, with that small head. I doubt there is a brain there. Not my words. Eh? I like people with small face. So can you imagine that small head? You're coming out here to tell people that your brain is small like this. Yours, where is the, where is the brain? <laughs> is there room for it? Let me not come for anyone in that manner because I think at this point, if you come out here and, uh, and answer queen, the queen parasites when uh, the queen parasite when she calls you, that is how you will stalk, you know, because she comes with that energy and if you give her, let me even leave her for now, because uh, if you come out here and answer Rocio's call, because she comes out here with the, that kind of energy, you give it back to her, it will not sound good enough, <laughs> at least I'm not that kind of a person, so let me leave her alone honestly, but she needs to stop this thing about coming out here, oh, you people, you have this kind of brain, maybe you don't have cars, we don't, but do you? Hmm? <laughs> you don't even have a place to stay. Someone else is out there. You're out here asking for donations. For people to construct a house for you. 
the audacity that these people get out here on the streets is wild. People who are poverty stricken, they come out here and talk like they have something that you don't. But see, honestly, I'm trying to understand you, but you're doing too much. Stop it. Stop it, honestly. Expand your mind because yeah. if all you see is a cult, <laughs> it's because no. your mind is like... It's very limited. <laughs> super limited. Yeah, super so... Limited. Let me come back to my point. Do you think Murat and so knew what was going on? Personally, I think he knew. Because there are some allegations that people have come out here to talk about it. These, Mur these are Paris Momo situation. Murat and so did that happen? Paris, did that happen? Are the allegations true? That aside, because that one is so different. You know, these are adults, you know. These are adults. They, they consented to their activities, you know. Let's talk about the minors that uh, Joyce's diaries came out here to share. Mura Senso, you always come out here, reply to some things, but you don't talk about these things. Was that true? Because if that is the case, it means he was very aware of what was going on. And so many and so many other allegations out here. So, let's move to someone else. Hello, baby. There is another girl child dropped out of school because of this one. And something that I've come to know through Mogesi and Gintu is that um, if you have a bike, you're a YouTuber, that is it. You get as many kids, as many minors as you wish to. Because these people pay these minors. These are kids from the village. They lure these kids using the donations, waiting money, the motorbike, because these young kids see these people as these big people. Your sister yeah. was like, she escaped. Yeah. You know, her sister of Ernesto yeah. was uh, was taken. You you know the sister of uh, Robigan also. Exactly. Hello, baby. Hello, Hello baby. baby. Yeah. We are coming to the same same point. Hello, baby. Give but give give, give what? Pregnant Pregnant to the sister uh, too. That, that girl was a uh, form four. Yeah, was and the, and the, the, the uh, sister. Scholar. Do you know that the yeah. sister of the Robbie girl also she was a form four like the sister to Anessa and, and they, they and, never and, back. And, and hello, school. baby. Put inside something. Yeah, exactly. And she's right now at home. Yeah, yeah, man. And the ladies now are at home. We are you know, talking about that. You know, when home. I talk that, they are they they are my classmates. I seated with. That girl of Ernesto uh -huh. and uh, the the girl of uh, Ruby girl was sitting with them in one desk. Okay. Yeah. And the things now got rampant. So guys, we are talking about these things. People are talking about okay, uh, these things are not so secure. We are talking about the reality. Exactly. The sister to Ruby girl, or the sister to Ngracha. Yeah. Man. Yes. Yeah. She's uh, pregnant. And but she's at home. You know, she has you know, already given birth. She has already given birth. Most you know of what? them, they have eh? to give birth. Gintu. Gintu. Okay. Gintu. Very soon, Gintu. eh? Gintu. They have already. Okay, but they, uh, but uh, the sister to Robi girl, very yeah. soon, eh? Yeah. Very soon. Has like exactly. four months. No. Uh, no. no. Like, like one, one month. Maybe one month. Like one month. Yeah. Like one, one month, month, my yeah. friend. One month. Yeah. If, if Ernesto is uh, like two months, oh, is of, of uh, yeah. Robi girl. Yeah. Ernesto's okay. sister is two months now with the kid yep. and i've just seen her she's now not the same the way she was exactly she has changed yeah. Yeah, the life has changed the life now is bitter she's just uh, there's a day you know, let, me, let, me you, let me tell you let me tell you let me tell you she was very bright let me tell you there's a day i met her at your boutique yeah then i was talking about a hey, I'm a Yuguno pass while doing some videos yeah. of vlogging in Yabuhansa with a phone. You know, now she, he had an iPhone, you know. Yeah. He's now showing people that I have one of the iPhones for donations, you know. Yeah. So uh, I had, I had, now that's what the point now. Uh, the sister to Ernesto talked uh, about uh, now my Yuguno is nothing, my friend. He has nothing. He's not the way he was. Yeah. So I was about, oh, so you know how he was. Eh? Yeah. So it means that while my Yuguno had received uh, much of a uh, uh, let's talk about the donations. Yeah. He was luring these young ladies into this kind of the scenario yeah. and using them exactly. and buying them. Someone else, Mayugno, that one even deserved. I think that one should have gotten a separate video because uh, this one is crazy. He came out and he told people that, oh, my wife has left me at some point, he even shown a, a hand that was hurt 
that this is what my wife that this is what my wife has done to me giving a story but not the entire story so that uh, people can go and hate on the wife but he doesn't come out here and tell us exactly what he's doing at the village can you imagine there is also another child another minor that dropped off school because of pregnancy my yugno the kid is less than a month or two months but he comes out here and lies to the subscribers. Oh, guys, my wife, this, at this point, I don't even blame that Mayuvia or, or, or what is the name? Do you want to tell me that Amura Senso is not aware of all these things happening? This is just... This is just so sad, guys. I don't even know how to explain. But, uh, of course, this is what I want to request you guys, if possible. Let me know. You know, let's talk about it in the comment section. Let's know. Let's talk about it so that uh, we get to know. Hmm? What options are there for the likes of uh, Mogesi? Because, uh, as I told you, Mogesi shared that uh, he has been looking for help, you know, to call these people to justice. But uh, these people have the money. They pay the police officers, they pay the chief, and that is it. But uh, as I said, personally, this is what I think. They should uh, look for the district commissioner, the DO, the DC, every administration out there. Because ultimately, there is someone who will respond, you know. Ultimately, there is someone who will hear their plea. Because it seems that uh, Nyabonze is so separated, people don't come together to fight something you know like this one because in other villages <laughs> something like that happens especially when it gets too much the villagers <laughs> take it to their own hands which are is so not so nice but at the same time or maybe they can uh, get these people take them to the police station because of course if they are left like that it will get worse we also have the, the children rights Departments, you know, they can report it, but uh, let's wait and see. Let's wait and see what will happen So guys, thank you so much for watching. Of course, if you've not subscribed, kindly consider subscribing like share comment Thank you so much for watching. Of course, if you've not subscribed, kindly consider subscribing But most importantly like the video and share your thoughts in the comment section. Let's see What we can do because this is sad. So let's talk about it in the comment section and uh, of course for my people Thank you so much, my moderators, my super slappers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That was it for now. Until the next one, peace.